Hello professionals. Do you know how to write a resume that will land you a job? It is critical to have a well-written resume if you want to get the job you want. It's possible that being qualified for a job isn't enough. Your resume should be able to make an excellent first impression and get you an interview. We are Archie's top 5. And we are here again for your rescue. In the next 5 minutes, you will learn about 5 simple yet effective tips to write a job-winning resume. Let's begin with the first tip. Ask yourself these questions before you start writing your resume. What is the ideal length for a resume? What kind of job am I looking for? What does the employer want to see? Am I providing the employer with what they require? What sets me apart from my competitor? Once you have a fair idea about each of their answers, you can begin writing your resume. Let's move to the second tip. Divide your resume into five parts. First should be name and contact. Begin by listing your full name and contact information, including your phone number and professional email address. If a recruiter is interested in you, they will be able to contact you right away. Second is introduction. How you introduce yourself in the resume reflects where you stand in the professional space. So, it is important to choose the right style in making your impression as a suitable candidate. Below are three distinct styles you can pick from. Summary of qualifications. You can list out your skill sets, especially if the position demands certain skills from you. Resume objective or career objective. You can write down what all you can do for the job, aligning it to your professional goals. Professional profile. This would be a combination of the above two introduction styles, where you list out your best skills and explain what you bring to the job. Third will be work history. Most recruiters go straight to checking your professional history after reading your name. As a result, pay close attention to this section. You can emphasize or de-emphasize your work history, depending on whether you use the chronological resume format, the functional resume format, or the hybrid resume format. Fourth is skills. When it comes to writing a good resume, the skills section takes the top spot. This is even more true if you are following the functional or hybrid resume format. You can divide your skills into technical and non-technical to present a varied skill set to the recruiter. Technical skills. These include any software you work with and your technical efficiencies. Non-technical, soft skills. These include your interpersonal and personality traits that make you a good fit for the job. Additional skills. This section can be added for any certifications you may have received to enhance your skills on the job. Fifth and last would be your education. Finally, the education section includes information about your school, college, and university, as well as your subjects and areas of specialization. This brings us to the tip number three. Style your resume the right way. After you've gathered all of your content, the next step is to present it effectively. Your resume should present all of your qualifications in the most reader-friendly and appealing way possible. Here are some styling tips for your resume. Font. Use formal font styles such as Arial, Calibri, etc. Size. Use font sizes from 10 point to 12 point for maximum readability. Formatting options. Be consistent with how you format headlines throughout. Spacing. Maintain the same spacing between sections or paragraphs. Use numbers to show your achievements. Here are some ways you can use numbers. Consistently outperform sales targets by 10%. Supported over four functional areas with financial analysis. Increased customer satisfaction rating to 8.6 out of 10. Raised over $70,000 in the ABC fundraising campaign. This brings us to the tip number four. Include important keywords. Select the most relevant keywords using the job description as a guide. Including these keywords in your resume makes it easier for the recruiter's tracking system to find it. 
Here is the fifth and final tip. Check for grammar and language use. After you've finished compiling and formatting your resume's information, there's one final step to take. Proofreading the entire document. At all costs, avoid spelling mistakes. If possible, run it through an online grammar checker. Alternatively, have someone else look it over after you. Another important point to remember when texting is to avoid using any type of casual slang or short forms that you may be accustomed to. This brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully, these tips would help you make a great resume. Please give thumbs up to this video and let us know in the comment box what you would like to see in the next video. Till then take good care of yourself and we'll see you in the next chapter.